Welcome back to the Grande Pacific. Today we're going to talk about electronics bells and whistles. Wide throttle web server here we come. Today a little brief demonstration and example on how you can hook up your layout into a wireless network and run your trains on either an iPhone, iPad, G3 phone, G4 phone, Android tablet, uh, into the new brave world of all the electronics we have. You know, two years ago I asked the question, how can I run a control panel from my existing setup and hookup so I wouldn't have to install a bunch of switches? Well, you're going to see it today. It's all been done, and this is all thanks to those nice guys at JMRI who went through all the trouble to make all this work. So let's get into this very quickly. Uh, this was the router which I chose. Uh, bought it at Best Buy. Uh, uh, there are many models cheaper. Not significantly cheaper. This was only $49. So uh, you can play this game any way you want to. Any a uh, Wi-Fi router that will work uh, as far as it goes. This is the existing, which if many of you have followed the video in the past, this is my train room computer and setup. This is that router right here. Uh, this is not an internet connected router. Uh, we run this as a separate little world out here. There is an internet plug available. The problem here is this hardwired internet comes from another router in the house. And I've already seen what someone warned me about. If you try to run it as off of it, you get a conf they start conflicting with each other. So right now all we're going to do is get a switch to switch one from the other. When we're running trains, we have no need to be on the internet so uh, we're going to just have our own little network world out here. Now there is a disk that comes inside this box. Set up disk. You put this disk in, you run it, it takes you through the steps. Uh, I went ahead and set it up and put a password in it. I would suggest to skip the password bit. You don't really need one but um, all the devices today memorize passwords, so uh, the only thing is probably most of the ones that are going to be using the, this is going to be my friends with their G3 phones and stuff for uh, throttles. But you got to run the disk, okay? Got to get the drivers and everything. It'll take you through it step by step and do it. Once you've got that done and the computer recognizes it, then the next step. And I'm going to stop just for a second. Okay, then you want to go right here to Tools. And you want to go to Throttles. And you want to go down here to where it says Start Wi-Fi Throttle and click on it. Then you're going to get this screen up here. And as you can see, it's showing you the Grande Pacific and the address of the router. At the current time, I have an iPad running on it. Now, also, you want to go down here to the bottom and click on Start JMRI Web Server. Because that's going to give you access to all these other new, neat little tools we got here. So right now, we have an iPad connected to the system. Now I'm not going to go back in through all the details of how far this has come to get it to this point. Again, this is connected with a Keyspan 19 to the NCE command station through an RS-232 cable. We've got another video on all this so I'm not going to get into that part. It feeds into the computer it gets into that. Now I'm going to go back down here to the bottom. All of this information 
that runs this panel comes from information gathered by the NC command station and then the JMRI takes that information through various sources which I've done a video on also and you create the panel so we want to be able to control parts of this panel in the other room real big sections that we want to control without having to build a control panel is the throats or the two staging yards but I'm going to show you where you can control anything out here this is the panel and as you see that's a big monitor big panel so we're going to go into the other room now and show you how all this ties together so here we have the town of Rockridge and we've got a speedy little local that's come up here with a whole bunch of trains cars that we need to switch into various places and I will be very generous to say thank you Dan this is the uh, manifest for this freight I, I have to say that I have manifest creator and I could have created this off a of manifest creator but this is just the print preview it works good for me when I'm doing this kind of cleanup work we had a Louisiana rail run uh, and a lot of activity and I'm trying to get the railroad some things back in uh, these are kind of my movement trains to backfill so this is our manifest that we're working on this train now here's the iPad now we can take the iPad and do this and you see there's that control panel only problem here is you're never going to throw a switch on this iPad this is a iPad and my fingers are not that uh, small now maybe you could get a stylus so we're going to do this we're up here at Rockridge so we're going to go to Rockridge and believe me people when I tell you that you're getting into this just as fast as I am there's a little X shows up now the X was inside the circle that time so it threw back through the other way see so what I'm going to tell you right now between this all being hooked up with NCE if this doesn't bring an end to all the control panels that are built on fascias out there I don't know what does people uh, you uh, one of the other people's on on the network Bob has come up with a very cheap source for Android tablets for under hundred dollars and you can move your place anywhere you want to so that takes care of that part now okay so real quickly to help out the situation we've learned out fat fingers don't work real well so we went out and got the wife stylus pin now if you take this it works a lot better because you get a direct hit on it so stylus pen comes in handy because like most of us guys one of the things I've noticed you can do on the uh, layout editor is you can make the circle bigger so this may be some other areas which through trial and error by a bunch of us will come up with a something that will work better because trying to get your finger you can see the little uh, marker now that, that time I got it and it, as long as you see that little marker thing inside the circle it'll work correctly so that, that's just a, a little update Style, stylus pin definitely would uh, help the accuracy 
Okay. Okay, now you can see I've switched over to the throttle entry. You, you can simply hit on one of the ones that are there. Or in my case, I clicked on it, uh, new entry, clicked here, the keypad came up. I selected 5363 three, and then I clicked set. And that makes the locomotive. Then you go down to the bottom. If I wanted to see that control panel again, I'd hit web server. Uh, uh, addresses brings me to this page and throttle is here. Uh, if you wanted the throttle control on the right side, you'd have to go into settings and change it, but you can have the throttle control left or right. So, so there we go. Horn works. Now, this is a Broadway Limited locomotive, so it comes in neat. Well, Okay, it's a blue line, sorry. <laughs> we don't get all the cows and chickens. But uh, there's your F8. We shut off. Uh, it's got some kind of brake activity going on. But uh, there's your bell. Headlights are on, so just leave them on. Oh, yeah. You have all your different functions are there. So your uh, reverse and forward. Now they give you a couple of options on this. I'm not going to get into it. You can play with it. Um, I will only say this: this is there are two programs under Apple for your i people. This is an iPad, so there's two. There's Y throttle light. And that is just the throttle. You will not get the web server on there part and I needed it uh, I this is wife's iPad so we're gonna be giving it back to her but we have an Android machine coming now the uh, Y throttle from I iPad is $9.99 the full version Y throttle on Android is free make your minds up real quick guys because it all looks the same when you operate it you know uh, but we went ahead and did this for the purposes of getting ourselves familiar. So, so we can run the train. Anything you want to do, hit the reverse button. So we do that, and then you, if you want to go this route, you hit the web server. Oh, did I hit the right button? Um, okay, you go back to home, and then it gives you your options, and it says my layout. And there you see the layout, and we're in the uh, long version here, so I'm going to turn this this way. And here's where we are, Rockridge. My concept is to use this in this fashion and then use the throttle to run the train. Uh, not necessarily going to be using it in this particular area. It could be used anywhere on a layout. You could probably get proficient at this and switch back and forth very easily between the train and the layout panel. But my initial reason for getting into it, I'll show you now. Um, when I started this layout, and this goes back, and the layout was started in October 2007. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, October 2008. So when I started this, electronics were pretty well here. We kind of knew that we're going to get into a lot of this stuff eventually very soon. Um, but I got this idea and I drew this all out as a panel. And I was going to have buttons on here and I was going to use an NCE mini panel to control this throat. 
for one of my staging yards and uh, staging in a uh, golden yard in uh, the engine facility storage down here. Uh, after working on lab for a couple of years, I noticed some comments on JMRI's website. And I said, well, if they can do all this, why can't we can do this? I have a secondary. I was thinking of a monitor here and connect it to where I could control it from here. Well, don't know what led who to what, but you know what? Now we've got the answer. So if I want to throw this switch, and this is where I got to get into this. There it goes. I hit it twice and it came back. There you go. So now you see the switch thrown. Then that's the first time I've ever done this. So this is in the case that this is a fixed up video that has been well rehearsed because it isn't. Um, this is a key switch during our layout, during operating session, it gets thrown repeatedly over and over again. I didn't hit it. There we go. There it goes. I see a delay in the response time. I think I need to go in and correct that. Um, there's a place to fix that so it shows up a little quicker. Um, anyway, um, that's a, the perfect example, though, of... <laughs> Why go put all those switches and everything in? I've already done all the work. When I put the switches in, put the decoders in, ran them back through the NCE system, tied them into a panel, your options become endless, what you can do now. It's just like JMRI operations, part of this layout. The number of trains I can run, what the trains can do, and where they can go, is just as creative as your mind can be. It just, there is no end of the uh, process here. And I got a feeling we ain't seen the end on this stuff either. So uh, it goes back to a famous quote in a model railroad club I was in in the 90s. Some guy stood up at the meeting, and this was in about 1995. I said, well, we'll just wait until they come out with the final plan for the DCC. And I turned around to him and I says, don't you understand there'll never be a final? <laughs> Let this be a testament. There'll always be something new. And it, it always gets better. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say out there, oh, it isn't better. <laughs> well, believe me, you start having to cut out Bill and all these panels, you'll understand this is a lot better. Hope this gives people some ideas. I know there's not a lot of detail here, but... This is the meat of the subject, people. Run a train, run, control your layout. Uh, it's all wireless. You're not dealing with a radio frequency here. You're dealing with uh, working over an, um, a wireless network that has an, an, a unique address. There you go. See you all later.